All right, in this one, we're going to look at this cache. It's an 11 piece cache, and I found it like here would be the water's edge. I found a couple pieces of it in the water, and then it was trickled up the bank at an angle no like north. Um, and I sifted it all in the late 90s. Um, there's all these blades, and it's a cache for sure. I've never found a piece of this material after. It's some kind of real unique river cobble shirt, I would guess. You can see here. And these are blades. Preformed ceramuses is what they are. It's an Amos cache. It's very unique stuff. That base is translucent. That gray stuff is translucent. This one's beautiful. Look at that material. This is translucent too. It's highly unique material. Um, look at that base, how it's different quality chert. To give you a good up close look at this stuff. Um, I sifted this in the late 90s. You can see all the little blades here. That would have been an Amos point preform. Then you come up into here and there was a half to shaft, shaft scraper in it. You can see it's the same material. Um, I've shaved this piece before but it's part of a cache. Some people asked, since I said it was a cache in the last video, I asked to see the entire cache and this is it. And it's uniface and it's a classic shaft scraper. It's a daggone nice one. Um, and here's the point type that was in the cache with it, this, and you can see it's the same stuff, for sure, you can really see it on the base, all right together, this one has a weird perforator tip on it, but it's an Amos, heavily ground base, look at that material, this is all translucent up in here, even the tip, you can kind of see the ones, the squared off notch, um, real ground base. This is an early archaic piece. Um, but there you go, there's the cache, and it, these points also came off the site. Um, this is the same, these are all the same type of points as this, right here. These are all Amos's. Here's a Crooksville chert one. It's just a phenomenal piece. This camera is a game changer. You can really see this stuff up close. See the little orange spot on it right there in the center? That's classic right there. That's classic Crooksville. You can see it in here on the, the blade edge too. This is high quality Crooksville. It's, it's, see, it, you can see the translucency here, not even holding it to a light source on the edge. It's a very nice point. See the chipping there? see the other orange spot here it's more like a fossil but it's orange man that's a good good video on that um here's another one this is another black canola shirt one it's perfect look at that tip can't get a sharper needle tip on a point anywhere you can see it Real ground base and notches. Here's another one. Not as serrated. Some of them aren't. But see the needle tip. Just, just as needle tip as you could get. Coming out of a sand layer on the river. No farm machine or equipment or nothings. You know. Touch these. And... They're just how they were left. Here's another Crooksville chert one. And this one has a fossil in it. Um, there it is. This is more of the chalkier Crooksville, but still, like, look at it. My goodness. And see, right, you can really see what I'm talking about now. See the shell fossil in the Crooksville right there at the tip of my finger? You can see it clearly in this camera. Some of this Crooksville, I found big chunks of it, has fossils all in it like this. Look at that needle tip, my goodness. You could jam it through your hand right now. Um, 
Here's another just absolute smoker. Just needle tip. Look at it. Unbelievable. Some of these. But believe me, it takes a lot of looking to find points like this and have be able to show a bunch of them. Look at the chipping. Real ground base. Um, that's a beauty. That's for sure. Here's another awesome one. It's translucent. You can see the translucency on it, not even holding it to a light source. And these are all Amos points, A-M-O-S. Real ground base. See the chipping there? Um, here's another one. I won't keep this going that long. I don't want to make a real long video, but I want to show these up close so you really get an idea of how nice some of these points are. You know, that's perfect. It's just awesome. It's translucent too. You can see it there in the tipping on the edges. And here's one. I found this when I was a kid on the same site. Probably 12 when I found this. Real ground base, real translucent, real deep notches. Real beautiful material. Nice serrations. Just a smoker. And here's a good one. Real ground base. Real beautiful notching. Expertly made. As nice as the day it was made. Look at that right there. Um, it's important to me to show you this so you can see the chipping patterns on the points and really see them. This camera's really made a difference. But here's an Amos cache. Um, these people are definitely making these rare shaft scrapers. You can see the point tape right there, all made off one, probably river cobble, um, chert that's highly unique. Like I said, it was all found just within feet, steps of each other in the 90s. And these points, you know, these ones were found in the early 2000s, this set of them right here, late 90s. I raked this one out. I found this one when I was in high school, actually, with this fossil in it. Probably a junior or senior in high school. That fossil was pretty cool on it. You can see it right there. See it clearly right there now. That's Crooksville Brush Creek Church. And so is this. These two are Brush Creek. This is higher quality Brush Creek. It's a pretty point. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Some of you asked to see this cache, like I said, so here it is. It's a pretty significant find because of the shaft scraper and the Amos point, which shows what it is. It's all associated in age. I'd say one guy made all this stuff and had it buried there someplace and it washed out and I got some of it. There was probably more of it, but you just can't get it all, but you can try to. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I went out in the motorized kayak yesterday and found two new sites and sifted some stuff, but most of it was damaged. I'm working on a video and I'll have one back on as soon as I can, looking out on the river. Let All right, I thought I'd get some nice shots of this old boy real quick for you for this video. There's a praying manis. He's just kind of hanging out here at my parents' house. Look at his little head there. What's up, buddy? Look at these little pinchers. Here he goes. I'm not going to mess with him too much. I just wanted to show you. That's a cool, cool find, nonetheless. There you went. Well, anyway, later. Hope you enjoyed the video.